George Stiliadis, first place. Congratulations, Comic Con 2023 winner. Congratulations again. What do you play? I played uh, Perli. Okay. Uh, I think uh, right now Yu Gi Oh isn't at its best. So there are 10, 12 decks that are the same level. So all the decks have weaknesses, and I just played what I have. I play 41 cards, uh, the standard number. Played, uh, Before we begin, how it was the tournament? Oh, I played against uh, six different decks because it's, the format is very versatile. I played round one against uh, Drytron. I won 2 1. Then I played against uh, Trap Brigade Sprite. Also, to one. Then, round three, I played against. Uh, I don't remember to be honest. It's okay. Let's I won have to it. One, but I won to one. Oh, Unchained. Round four, I played against Brad and I won uh, to all. And round five against the Dragon. Okay. The deck was nice. It didn't overperform, but it was just okay. Okay. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, I played uh, six cuts. Uh, this is the main starter, technically the best card in the deck because it's used from grave and you don't have to go minus one. But this, the fact that this is not once per turn gives uh, more ways to play through opponent boards and hand drops. So this is also really good. And those are amazing. Then I play the ten quick play spells. Maximize them. All of them are really good. Like uh, this is the, the starter, the main combo, and the fact that gave you follow up with the draw is amazing. Those are the one that uh, there are scenarios that you make unaffected noir, and even if you are way back on your resources, uh, you can put with the field spell those as a material and steal the opponent cards and outgrind him and win the game because they can't deal with Noir. So those are amazing. Happy memory are really good because of happiness. The best going second of all of them. Do you find that Purely is the best deck right now? No, definitely no, but uh, it's top five I think and there are also six, seven decks that are one level down. But you feel confident playing purely more than the other decks right now? Uh, yes, but uh, I have been very more confident other times in Yu-Gi-Oh than this time. Okay. Free go. Okay. The go. No, they said uh, they said that they will. Uh, really... Cyberstorm Axis. Yes. No, the next set. Uh, Duel uh, Duel Nexus. Yeah, exactly. Duel Nexus. Yes. I forgot the name for a moment. Uh, and also the limited. This is really good, but even if this was a 3, uh, you need to start with this because with the trap, even if this loses to books, Book of Moon and Eclipse, this is way better because it gives you access to draw hand traps with uh, draw 4 and draw 6, so this is like the best starter. And if this was limited and this was a 3, the deck would be way worse than now. Then I play Three My Friends, which is uh, like, it searches everything, it's really good and the second effect is really broken because you can crash the opponent monster, destroy your Xyz and then add uh, all the equip spells from your graveyards, which is really good. I maximized the field spell because I felt like this deck loses to the cards that are in every player's main deck and you don't have to specific. Uh, play, be more specific to counter this deck, and this deck loses to Imperm, Veiler, Book of Moon, cards that target. And it's really good to have 100% chance to take this with this. And by playing two, you are have 66% chance to see this, and it's not that good. And in the deck that in the decks that are not targeting, uh, it's just an engine card that helps you build up. And the last engine card is the trap. Nothing special to say. Then I played the uh, 12 hand traps. Standard, like I, I think us is uh, the best card uh, of, of all time, in my opinion. Like the most all-around card I've ever seen. 
pre infinite impermanence. Infinite impermanence right now isn't uh, that good. It's just mediocre. There are some times that are really good, but uh, sometimes are just uh, mid. But you have to play it because it's not playing inside of thrust. And uh, this deck can easily lose against barrier. And if you infinite impermanence, I can thrust you the barrier, so it's really good. Then I played three rock. Uh, Nibiru gives you a win in the finals, the second game. Mm, Nibiru, it's the power of Nibiru. It depend, depends by the power of the opponents that I face. So if I'm playing in a tournament that are very experienced players, as I keep saying, Nibiru probably wouldn't be that good. So today Nibiru was sometimes uh, there were two games that Nibiru gave me the win in finals and one time in round two, but uh, overall was. Just okay. I don't know if in a bigger event like in a YCS I will play this. Inside the this is standard. Then I played the, I think the most underrated thunder right now, which is Diddy Crow. Like every player keeps saying that Diddy Crow isn't that good because there are some decks that are that is dead against uh, them. But even in the worst decks of Diddy Crow. The Degro can be useful, like in Labyrinth, in, I don't know, uh, Vanquish Soldier, a lot of decks that the Crow can do job. And then I play one Veiler. Veiler is for Cross Out Designator, because uh, if you get Veiler, it's the same with Impermanence. You can dodge it in, by playing in Draw Face and Standby Face, but you need to have the option of Cross Out Designator, and by its own, it's just a good 12th standard. Then I played three Crossout Designator. Uh, Crossout Designator is technically good only against Imperm book and books in main deck, but the fact that Barrier is a thing, you have to play Crossout Designators because Barrier is. You are struggling a lot by, with Dimensional Barrier. Today was just okay, I think I resolved it uh, once, twice. Once and once that didn't matter, that uh, I got uh, evenly and I just activated, set triple tactics just. Uh, in case if he has tactics. And then I play one offs just for the cross out and cards that aren't that good for me but aren't that bad to play. I play the, the books because you have to play it because the main reason you're playing this. And uh, the talent, because there are a lot of times that the trap goes through, you summon the noir, you draw the cards and the only card that can deal with noir and take your whole board because if, you take, if he takes the noir he can choose you. It's talents, and you have to cross out called talents, so that's why I'm playing uh, talents. That's it for the main deck. Extra deck I'm playing. The, the 14 out of 15 cards are standard, are 99% of really extra decks. I played two cabinets, one duty, one plan, one nor, two big nors, this, 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 two zoos. Anima, Zalea, and the 15th card technically is Dark, which is, I think, MVP is way better than playing second this and second of this, because if you are missing those two, you can just use Trap and take those, to, to those back in the extra deck. And also, I saw some players playing Assembly Robin over this, which is debatable. I think this is way better, but it's debatable. And then the side deck. The side deck definitely overperformed, uh, underperformed today. I think I resolved only Pankra tops over the 15 cards. Like, I played three Lava Golem, which is bad. I will not play Lava Golem again because I'm playing a lot of hand drops in this version. And Lava Golem in combination with hand drops isn't that good. You need to see hand full of hand drops or either hand full of board breakers. And because this deck is hand drop, is full of hand drops, board breakers aren't that good. Draw. draw is auto win against the half of the meta and dead against the, half, the other half, so that's why I'm playing side if you don't have dead cards in my main deck. Then to thrust, I didn't draw it at all, so all the cards that I'm playing one off for thrust. Ultimate rare? <laughs> yes. So the... it uh, does a double effect, right? Uh, yes. But I didn't draw it, so probably secret would have been better. All the cards that I'm playing one off to resolve thrust weren't also that good because I didn't draw thrust. I'm playing one of these. I didn't play it against Cat and Flanders, so it wasn't that good. I played cards for back row, deck, for back row decks, but I didn't play it against back row decks, so 
didn't came up except by except even which is good against also some combo decks. And they play one barrier for first out and for decks that it's really good. Also. You are the first player that I've ever seen you playing only one uh, uh, evenly match. Uh, it's for thrust. Okay. If I didn't, if I couldn't find thrust, I would play zero. But because I have a privilege to play have thrust. It's good to test a lot of one-offs to see which is better. Like this is experimental. I think those aren't that good. This isn't necessary. I don't know. Even these aren't necessary. Like maybe Bell is really good now with a lot of branded. I don't know about side deck. Okay, I only going... feel confident about my main deck. Okay, are you going to participate in the devices in uh, in Italy? So... Uh, yes, because I couldn't uh, be in Dortmund. I will participate in Bologna yeah. and I will try. My best. Thank you very much, George, Thanks. for your victory. Uh, I will uh, hope to see you in our upcoming events. Hope you enjoy the Comic Con today. Thanks. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time.